people that remember the spirit world, or has it removed, been removed from all people? Um, the the alam al dar, the world of the spirits. Um, you can remember it yourself, but you have to purify your soul. Imam al Junaid remembered it very well. He said, "I remember who was on my right and who was on my left hand on the plain of Arafat when God said, Alas to be Rabbikum.' Uh, I knew a great saint." Uh, you know, a great saint, in fact, uh, you know, his son, you know, married my daughter, and he's a descendant of Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani, and he was bedridden the last 10 years of his life. His name is Hajj Mahmoud. He was a great Hanafi scholar, great. He was a Sayyid, and uh, he was powerful. But the last 10 years of his life, he was bedridden. And uh, he told me, he said, we made tawaf around the throne together. And this is really important, and I think I'll end with that, because like in 2000, in 19, I think, 98, uh, I was in the pilgrimage. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we made pilgrimage every year. We made pilgrimage a lot. But my principal sheikh was sick that year. And uh, so I was with another sheikh whose name is Shadli. He's really amazing. And I told him, Sheikh Hamza is here. I knew Sheikh and Zaytuna, they're there. And so we were in Masjid Khif, and then he said to me one day, this is in the days of the stoning of Minna, he said, go outside and see Sheikh Hamza. So I got outside, went out the door, there's Sheikh Hamza. Among how many million people? <laughs> and I came up and hugged him. And then Sheikh Hamza took me to his camp, and then there was Mustafa Davis, Usama Kanan. There was Sayyid Hisham Alusi, people that... Like, what's happening in America? I'd been away from America for a long time. I made Hijra for 18 years. I didn't know it was happening back home. And then it's like, when I left America, there weren't many Muslims. And then it's like, Mustafa Davis, Usama Kanan, others, you know. And I, and I came back to Shadi, and I said, like, Sheikh Hamza has these people with him. You can't believe. And he said, what's the secret? What do I know about secrets? Tell me. He said, he said, these are people that were with Sheikh Hamza around the throne in the other world. And what happens with Sheikh Hamza is that he has appeared. So he lectures, he talks, you know, and people see him and they recognize him and they come to him like a child to their father or their mother. And he said, this is what you have to do too. You have to, someday you will appear. They kept me hidden for a long time. You don't do anything. You just do dhikr. You know, uh, you know, it was a regiment, mashallah. You know, just dhikr, dhikr, dhikr. You know, for many years. But he said, you will appear. And then your children will know you too. And, come, and that's very important because you have children. You have children. Everybody in this room has children. How many million? Imam Ali. How many million children does he have? Uh, Sheikh Yahya wrote us. How many million does he have? Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, Imam Zayd. And when you come forth, your children come to you. That's why you need to appear. And people need to know who you are. And the guidance of those people hinges on you. So, you know, uh, you know it's really important. You know, th these are people that knew you in that world. They don't know that, but there's something about you they like. They're attracted to you, okay? And now it is your trust to help them, to take them in, inshallah. And that's why also this is an amazing time. This is an amazing time. This is an age when the knowledge of God is virtually lost. And yet we have a generation of Muslims that are among the most remarkable human beings that I've ever known. Shaykh Hamza Yusuf, Sidi Yahya, Imam Zaid, Imam Afroz, Shaykh Faraz Rabbani, Shaykh Nuh Keller. You can go on and on, Dr. Jackson, yourselves. I mean, we have a harmony, we have a synergy, and we are there to collect our children, to bring them in, to build institutions, to build communities, to bring peace, to bring goodness, to bring the knowledge of God. You know, to set the planet right. There's no way that can be done, you know, without the belief in God. You are the spirit of the world. Adam is the spirit of the world. And all of the children of Adam are like this. 
So we ask Allah to give us this knowledge. This is the basic knowledge and let it grow and grow. Bi ta'ala.